this guy just voted to ban TikTok. His name is Jeff Jackson, and he used TikTok to promote his campaign and become a congressman representing North Carolina. And guess what? He was one of the people that voted for the TikTok ban. And guess what? Over the past few days, he has lost 200,000 followers on TikTok because he used us and now he's shutting the door on us. He sold us this image of being a relatable politician. We would have even helped you become president if you ever ran for it. But now we'll never support you again. We can never trust you again. It was so bad that he had to come out of apology video after getting so much hate on his other platforms like TikTok, Instagram, everything. So this is his, ex uh, his explanation. I apologize. I did not handle this situation well from top to bottom. And that is why I have been completely roasted on this app over the last 48 hours. And I get it. If I were in your shoes, I would probably feel the same way. I would see someone who used this app to build a following and then appears to have voted against it. And I would be upset. And I would feel like I deserved more of an explanation. So here goes. I like this app. I've been able to reach a lot of people and hear directly from them. And it's been great. I'm also in Congress, and I've been a part of some briefings about this app that were genuinely alarming. When I was reading the bill, the part I agreed with was the part that tries to force a sale, because I figured this would just be a better app if we didn't have to worry about the stuff that comes with it being potentially controlled by an adversarial government. The part I didn't like was the part that threatens a ban. Half the country is on this app. It has become a force for good in the lives of millions of people. So I weighed those two things, and the reason I voted for it was because I genuinely believe the chance of a ban is practically zero. For a long So you just said that this app is so good, it helps so many people's lives, and you think there's zero chance of being banned. Yet, you contributed to this chance of being banned. You voted for this ban. What do you, you chose to end millions of other people's life, a career, TikTokers that are on this platform, people that do this for a living. What are you talking about? You contributed to it. For a lot of reasons, financial, political, geopolitical, I just don't think there's any real chance of a ban. I still believe that, but maybe I got that balance wrong. On the one hand, I have information about this app that isn't public. On the other, the language of the bill was going to upset millions of people. My thinking was I could reconcile those two things by just making a video that said, Hey, here's the situation. And that was a total disaster. I really overestimated my ability to do that in a really hot moment when millions of people were laser focused on this. Some of you have said I must have been bought by somebody. Well, that is exactly why I don't take any corporate PAC money. Not from TikTok, not from Meta, not from any corporation. That doesn't change the fact that I screwed this up. I did. I apologize. And I will keep you boasted. Now, if you look at all of his comments from any video, look at him banned, spineless. He has getting so many hate everywhere on TikTok. Look at them. Every video has hate comments of him telling the ban, telling we trusted you, you betrayed us. How can you do this to us? Anyway, just look at, click on any of his videos, and you'll see how many hate he got. And the hate was so bad that he had to delete the original video where he said TikTok will never get banned. And what's crazy was when one person commented, if TikTok would be sold to an American company, which company would it be? And wouldn't it be controlling the information system we're getting? And Jeff's response made people more mad by saying, I don't know. That means he didn't have enough information that he still, yeah, he still voted for the TikTok ban. And in that video, he said that he had some secret stuff he couldn't tell us. But when, in this response, he said, I don't know. That makes no sense. And ever since he deleted this comment. So if you go back to this video, you won't be able to find this because he has gotten so much hate that he had to delete it. And this comment just made him look stupid. So what do you think about the situation so far? What do you think about Jeff Jackson? Do you think he deserves all this hate so far? And do you think TikTok will actually get banned? So comment down below and let me know your opinions.